Yo, what is up, YouTube and the Monster Club? It is yours truly, the life of the party, the young go hard, but everyone else just calls me the party monster. Back out with a brand new video, and in today's video, we're actually headed to my local downtown locker room to pick up my pair of Jordan Fire Red 4s. I'm super excited. I worked really hard to save up this money, picked up, shifted, all that crazy stuff, but it's all worth it. I'm about to go pick up my pair, but first, you already know, I gotta pick up my coffee first, and yeah, so I'm gonna go do that. But while I have you guys' attention, I gotta say that I am super excited for the month of December because the first 25 days, I'm doing a 25 days of Christmas unboxing where I unbox a ton of stuff. Like I have about 50 things I need to unbox in my house and there's still packages coming in. I'm talking things from like new Jordan pickups, some Supreme Anti-Social Social Club, and uh, there's some other cool random things that I ordered throughout the year, but yeah, I'm gonna do that the first 25 days of December. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any of the fun. But anyway, I got patience to this road, but I will catch you guys in a few. Hey guys, so I'm just leaving Starbucks now, of course. I got my pumpkin spice latte. Shout out to them, they're like the only one that actually sells pumpkin spice lattes. Appreciate it. It should be like a all like holiday season thing, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, I love Starbucks so much. I should probably get a shoe named after them or something like that. But anyway, about to get in this car and head down the road. So I just got to the downtown locker room. About to go pick up my pair. And as you guys can see, I did secure my coffee. So my day can officially start. But other than that, I'm probably gonna head up like the little stores in the area, like Play-Dohs and maybe the Goodwill, see what I see. I don't have a lot of money, unfortunately, because of hours being cut and whatnot. So yeah, that's not fun, but you never know. Like I might catch a steal at the Goodwill or something. So it's always worth a look and everything. But yeah, I'm super hyped to get these shoes. I do have the 2012 edition, but as you guys can see, they are definitely kind of weathered. So I definitely want a fresh pair of my life. So that's why I ended up picking these up. But I think between these and the Jubilees, these are probably like the last two shoes I'm picking up in 2020. There's actually one that I am contemplating getting, but I don't know, those are like the two big releases. And I got to say huge shout outs to Downtown Locker Room. They did something that's really cool. And granted, they always do guarantee tickets anyway, but they actually did guarantee tickets if you dropped off an unused toy for the um, chair that they're doing. I'm not sure what it, I think it, it's not Toys for Tots, but it's like one of the kid organizations. But yeah, so I dropped off like a little transformer or something for like $3 and I guaranteed my shoes. So that was super cool. I didn't have to stress about it all week of how I was going to get these. So yeah, huge shout outs to them. And yeah, so let's go get my shoes and head out. Okay guys, so I'm about to go head into Plato's Closet. They're usually hit or miss, but you never know. So let's see what they got in store today. The Gatorade Jordan 32s or 23s, something like that. I don't know, like, I can't really get with this style of Jordan. I'm like, you already know what time it is. Ah, we did it. Size a nine and a half, which I will be showing you guys in more detail as soon as I get back to the house. Yeah, so after further review, the rolling on the field has been changed. I went back to Play-Dohs and actually pulled a power play because I actually did see something I kind of liked. I wasn't sure if it was like a woman's or a men's release because it was one of those kind of shoes. But at the end of the day, it was a men's shoe, size eight and a half, which is cool because I'm a size nine, so I definitely know I can make the eight and a half work. And they're at a really great price. So of course I had to pick them up they have it on hold for me, so I'll definitely pick them up tomorrow morning first thing. So, I mean, I really got to kill it to hit work. But, yeah, so that's the move for the moment. But, anyway, we're about to go probably head to the Goodwill and then yeah, hit home. So, I'm just leaving the Goodwill now. They had nothing, so it wasn't worth filming in there. But, anyway, I'm about to head home and I'm going to show you guys my 2020 Fire Red Force. Okay, so, on some random stuff, and it is kind of sneaker related. So, next week in my fantasy football league, I'm actually playing against Tony 2D Wild of Sample Industry. You guys probably know him from the Bullet RC video or his own channel, but yeah, he's about to get that work. I mean, I got Josh Allen, Delvin Cook, Devontae Adams, Cherry McLaren, Josh Jacobs, Nick Chubb. So, I got a pretty stacked team, and Here's the craziest part about it. My team is already grandfathered into the playoffs, so I'm not really worried about that. But I didn't pick my team at all. Like, well, I did pick like the last two or three players, but Delvin Cook, Josh Jacobs, Nick Chubb, 
Mark Andrews, that was all coincidence. Like, I told them, hey, can you guys wait for me? I'm, like, just leaving my house from work. And they didn't. <laughs> and I ended up getting, like, an all-star team. So, I'm definitely ready for next week's hey matchup. Guys, so, I'm finally back home from work. I didn't get a chance to check these out in hand yet. So, I'm going to give you guys my honest reaction to seeing them for the first time. And as I'm doing, I'm going to be enjoying this delicious O'Connor Hip Hop Anonymous Volume 4. The last time you guys saw me with one of these, it was actually Volume 3 on vacation. This is actually 8% ABV IPA. Really good. I don't know why I'm talking about beer on the sneaker channel, but it's really good. Definitely refreshing. Hashtag not sponsored. But anyway, what you guys came to see, we have the... Patented Jordan 4 box. Definitely one of my favorite boxes. I think maybe the one might be the favorite, but these are definitely a close second. As you guys can see, you have that cement paper. But more importantly, you have the Jordan 4 Fire Reds 2020 edition. Definitely a really dope shoe. The leather quality is pretty decent. Not the best by any means, but not bad at all. Especially for a shoe that was definitely mass produced and everything. You have your Nike Air hang tag, of course. Definitely a super clean shoe. Definitely probably one of those shoes I'll probably end up saving till next summer sometime. So I can put some fists together and just have these out here breaking necks. You gotta see you have your visible air unit. Definitely going to be doing a review on these very soon. And the main selling point, of course, is the Nike Air on the back. That is definitely a dope look. Definitely rock with it. And definitely a shoe I'm glad I picked up. Like, there was no hesitation. As soon as I saw it in pictures, like, I was going to pick this up. Like, it was a no-brainer. And, yeah, I ended up going with a size 9.5, which my true size but with fours you never know like i feel like i could have gone down a size or up a size and been perfectly fine but i'm glad i ended up going with a nine and a half my pair actually is pretty good no nothing crazy going on honestly as far as like glue or paint effects or anything I check out the other one too because one might be perfectly fine the other one might be crazy looking but Wow, this one definitely. There's like something weird going on with the toe box, but not bad. Definitely good to go. There's all point. Honestly, I don't really see these being crazy high in resale, which is a good thing. So if you do want a pair, you should be able to get them relatively cheap. But yeah definitely a dope shoe and i'm actually gonna grab the 2012 edition just to kind of give you guys a quick comparison real quick okay, so i just got the 2012 edition in hand just to kind of give you guys a quick little side by side as you guys can see these are clearly more of a fire red versus more of a varsity red of course you have your jump man on the 2012 edition and your nike air on the 2020 edition i might go and do a full comparison video i might even throw the 2006 edition who knows but just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick look at the two again now that i really look at it, these aren't half bad compared to these like i really could still get a lot of wear out of these these definitely can be like the beater just on my thorn real quick okay these are worn down and as you guys can see definitely a lot of like stars lost on the front of that but it is what it is you're gonna wear them you're gonna beat them down and Get a new pair but overall i gotta say this is definitely a really clean shoe and definitely one i was happy i could add to the collection well, that's gonna do it for this video but before i sign out i want to say first and foremost thank you guys so much for checking out this channel and just hanging out and rocking with me all year i do really appreciate it so that being said i kind of want to do something a little bit different in the month of december just to kind of give back and everything. So here's the deal. I'm going to make this probably the easiest sneaker giveaway I've done all year. Because the other two haven't quite panned out. I'm going to say right here, right now. If I reach 100 new subscribers by the end of this year. I will give away a pair of these and your size. So if you want a chance at these. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button. Join the Monster Club. 
super simple, super easy. It takes about two seconds and you get a chance at free shoes from yours truly. And all I'm asking for is 100 subscribers. Granted, in the past, I've asked for outlandish numbers, like 500 and higher, but 100 shouldn't be too, too hard. And as I'm announcing, this is actually the 28th of November. So you have about a little bit more than a month to make that happen. And you get a chance at, again, free shoes. And other than that, I decided that because I have like hella boxes to unbox that starting December 1st, I'm going to be doing like a 25 days of Christmas unboxing thing on my channel. So for the first 25 days of December, I'll be doing unboxing. So that's going to range from stuff from new Jordans to anti-social social club merchandise to Supreme and all kinds of random goodies and everything. So if you guys like unboxing, you guys are going to be loving the first 25 days of December. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Definitely share it with a friend. And if you feel the vibe, hit subscribe. You guys can follow Party Monster One and on Instagram at Party Monster O Five. Until next, remember be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. Peace.